Now we have successfully implemented the send notification feature and the receiving feature that is when the notification is received. Now the important thing which is left is basically to ask for the permission that is either you want to receive the notifications from this app or not which is mandatory otherwise your application by default it will be off the push notification will be off so we have to ask for the permission from the user so for that purpose on our mandar dot inside the man we will implement that for that we will use a package go to your browser and simply search for permission handler which is this one permission underscore handler installing copy this dependency and now here we can add that so it has been added now the next thing is to ask for the permission so after this we can say wait permission dot notification if the permission for the notification is denied dot then if value permission dot notification dot request it simply means that if the user denied the uh, not, uh, permission for allowing notifications then we will ask for the notification permission okay we will request to please allow to receive push notifications so now let's just test our application so when the app opens you see that it automatically asks for the permission because we have add the permission for the notification that is ask permission uh, code here in our man so whenever the app you run and if you have not allowed to get the permission then it will ask you every time to please allow the permission okay for the notification that's why we send that is we ask for the request which is basically the permission request allow dating app to send you notifications so you have to click on allow in order to allow it for receiving notifications now before we test our application you have to go back to your firebase console and from here we have messaging inside the engage messaging click on messaging and you have to click on uh, create your first campaign and of course we are using the firebase notification messages this was uh, the notification which will look okay I hope you have already seen in the intro this is the push notification and when the when it is received and the user click on it you already know we display the notification dialog box so anyways this was just mandatory to come here and enable the cloud messaging now come back here and what we need to do is we need to basically also install our app on other phone but first of all on this phone I'm going to log in as Angela you have to test the application on different device please keep that in mind okay so let's log in quickly we are logged in successfully so now if I show you guys the database the if I store database we have to first check either the device registration token is created or not our user whose name is Angela here it is so we have to check here you see user device token so we can recognize now the Angela phone using this device token similarly I'm going to log in on another phone on this phone the app is installing and here you see allow dating gap to send you notifications so you have to allow on this phone we are logged in as uh, John Parker so now I close the app and now let me open up the app okay which is installed 
so now uh, as you know uh, here we have Angela this is Angela phone and this is John Parker phone so if let's say Angela view a uh, John Parker profile okay let's say Angela view John Parker profile so you see the push notification received as the app is running that is the app is in the let me show you the code alongside with it the app is open okay the app is in the foreground so when the app is open it will as you know the app is already open so it displays that pop-up that dialog box which you see here Angela Smith and then here you see the city country and the Angela profile image one more thing is uh, we have to add some space between these two buttons so in order to do that you have to come back here to the code and our dialog box which is here uh, here we can add the here you can see these two buttons are here so as it these are the part of this row widget so row has a property which is main axis alignment so you will say dot space around and it will uh, properly give um, give space from the left and right side of each button okay view profile and close so anyways you need to just add this okay so it will put some space between these two buttons now the next thing is this was the foreground okay next thing is when the app is minimized so let's say I'm going back I'm going to uh, now like the John Parker so I like that and you see that I hope you can hear the notification sound as well the notification received dating app which is our app new like which is the title you have received a new like from Angela Smith click to see so you know that this one is basically the uh, feature which is when the application is when the application is the background is in the background then you receive a notification like this and when you tap on it it open up the app and it must display you that dialog box because we call that from here you can see that so you see that okay now the next one is when the application is completely closed now let's say this time I'm going to mark John Parker as favorite so when I press that button then you see that the notification received I hope you hear the notification sound as well and by the way this was this feature when the app is terminated which simply means when the app is completely closed so we receive that push notification and now when we tap on that push notification you see new favorite you have received a new favorite from Angela Smith to John it is showing so now when John click on that it will open up the app and it will display you that pop-up Angela Smith 42 and then city country you can see that here so our push notification is working successfully now if you click on view profile it will send you to the Angela Smith profile as you can see Angela Smith has not yet updated uh, profile pictures or you can say the five multiple pictures for her profile that's why you see five avatars instead of that and similarly from here as well let's say uh, if now John Parker wants to view okay if John Parker view Angela Smith profile then Angela Smith will receive a notification you see that okay and similarly if the app is in the background and let's say uh, John Parker mark Angela Smith as his favorite then John Par uh, the Angela Smith will receive a push notification so let's click on mark as favorite okay click on that button and you see that the notification received new favorite from dating app you have received a new favorite from John Parker click to see so if you click on that you see that okay now uh, when the app is completely closed let's close the application so now let's say if John Parker uh, like Angela Smith then Angela Smith will receive a notification so let's click on that like button so you see that okay Angela Smith receive a notification which says new like you have received a new like from John, from John Parker so if you click on that so you see that it display the John Parker information to Angela Smith
and if you click on view profile it will show you the John Parker profile you can see that I mean to the Angela Smith it show the John Parker profile so we have successfully implemented the push notification system and that is how you can implement the push notification serv service in your flutter applications I hope you have loved this feature and I hope you have loved this overall course. Please give your honest review. I am waiting for your reviews on this course. Okay, so yeah, please give honest reviews. Uh, I really want to see and check your feedback, how you feel about this course and what you have learned in this course. I hope you have you are enjoying enjoying this course and I hope you have learned a lot of new things in this course. So please read this course and give us your honest reviews.